explain for us what that amendment on the 30 days in jail thing? Uh, there was a provision in the bill uh, that uh, uh, could result in someone being sentenced to 30 days in jail. What the amendment did was remove that provision. So teachers, cops, so, firefighters, if they go on strike, they cannot be put in jail? That they, would not be, they, they would not go to jail. That provision, that penalty was removed. And what, do, what does the split in your caucus say about this bill? Well, I just think it, it shows that we have a lot of diverse interests. And uh, so that's no different than any caucus. It, it, this is a, a very complex issue. Uh, we have uh, members who represent very diverse parts of the state, very diverse constituencies, and I think the vote reflected that. Any surprises? I mean, did you expect 1716? Uh, no surprises, no. I think it's been pretty consistent. Uh, I think th those people who doubted us, I've been saying for three weeks, we had the votes to pass the bill. And, and I think we proved that today. Biggest concern is seems to be about the uh, the whole replacement for binding arbitration and the, the way you're going to settle these impasses. Uh, they're basically saying it, it, it just leads to uh, you know, the, the cities or school boards getting whatever they wanted to begin with. Well, uh, that issue was, was uh, debated very thoroughly uh, by Senator Jones. It was uh, discussed with uh, Senators Grindell and, and Senator Seitz in particular. Uh, so we did consider the judicial option. Uh, but it's important to remember, too, that judges do not have the authority to appropriate tax money. And, and what that provision would do would give them the authority to appropriate tax money. And so uh, we felt it was more important that the, uh, the elected officials be accountable to the voters, the elected officials who are responsible for manage, managing taxpayer funds be the ones that, that be the deciding factor. And that's why we opted to keep the legislative option.